Hey y'all, sorry for the interruption. Um, we have an emergency situation. This is not a drill. This is come on, get to the um, um phone call. We have a very important announcement to make. We have found a queen. Hold on, answer it, sir. Answer it, sir. Uh, hold on. Hello. Hello, coach. Hi. How are you? I'm very good, actually. It, it, it's um. Uh... I'm just calmer, more grounded. Well, you're getting a little. Uh, well, you're getting a little bit ahead of us, Miss Rovo. I mean, you're kind of at the end, and I really hate to interrupt, but a lot of people are wondering what you're talking about right now. <laughs> well, I understand that. I guess, yeah. Oh, I mean, but. But I'm, the ones that do, they need to know, and then the you know the other ones will come. Um. Um. Well. Well. I'm, what I'm talking about, and I understand what you mean. And yes, that's true. Um. And I hope this is coming out right. But the, what I'm talking about is how um. There. Are, this is kind. Of, I'm kind of just springing this on people. I was, they was in the, in the middle of the scripture, and they're like, "How dare you come in and talk?" And this lady, yeah, and we don't even know her name. We don't know who she is or anything. So at least let me kind of try to introduce you a little bit. I know I'm not gonna do a good job, but at least kind of let me do somewhat of an introduction. Uh oh, okay. Well, okay, I'll stop. Okay, yeah, I need to just. You know. I kind of need to tell you. you I caught you in the middle. Okay, just hold on for a second, Roro. If you don't mind, if you could, we'll put your push your pause button. Oh, I could, I could probably hold on. You, no, 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 I'm sorry. I don't want to tell you to do anything, man. But just hold on for a second. Okay. Where is this noise going? Okay, it's me that's making the noise. Okay. Um. Now, nah, what are you doing? Look, boy, you leading with your head. Stop, Sam. Look at me, Jay. All right, look, guys. This is another queen. This is one like Stacy. This is one is actually Stacy's friends. Um, Stacy has talked to this lady, and what she ha has to offer here is an experience similar to what we've been talking about. As far as Stacy is concerned, this is wonderful because we actually have another queen. I know there's a bunch. I've met I've met several since, but this is the only one who has made the transition. Right. right. And, you know, I'll let her tell her tell you her name. I'll let her tell you anything she wants to tell you. But, um, but if she, and she can start wherever she wants to tell you, including up until actually when she noticed something actually changed, what happened, the date, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and take her off pause here, and then I'm going to put myself on pause. Uh, Miss, Miss, uh, Ma'am, the floor is yours. Go ahead, and uh, thank you for sharing. Um, hi, my name is Roslyn Goro. Um, well, I started listening to Coach in a Fight, I think it was 10, uh, 2017, 2017, and I had had an accident. I burned my feet. So that was like my last sort of warning um, to get back on my path and then it's just been a journey conscious journey because prior to that since the day I can I was born that I can be conscious of that it was unconscious and it started to become conscious so I can't really say you know it just started yesterday it's been a process but as soon as I started to learn about the luminary, the book of Enoch, it really turned the light on for me because I was always very confused. Like, I didn't know if I was walking straight or not. I, you know, I started following uh, the cycle of the sun and the moon. And I, you know, I traveled a lot. So there was this period where there was no time for me. So time zones and everything doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really connect in a way. So when you start following the calendar and the, um, 
the, the feast days, um, it's it's like a like like a day, like one year to the next day, year is like a day in a way, like if that makes any sense to to the people. But um, I started to uh, follow the fest, uh, and you know, um, like how can I say? Um, respectfully, uh, the last two years, this will be the third year. So I started to notice a lot of things like, you know, like if you do gardening on the Sabbath day, things like that, certain things that we're not supposed to do on the Sabbath day, and how the Gregorian calendar is completely makes us like delusional, confused, because our body internally is sort of connected to the true system. So it causes us to have a lot of confusion and things like that. Uh, And I also had an issue with the language and grammar. And then I started to learn about, you know, the languages and grammar and how that whole system and and music, how it's all, you know, connected together, sort of frequency-wise, it kind of throws us all off. Right. So, well, let me, let me interrupt so last you. year... Okay. Oh, no, okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Last, last year, I noticed at the Tabernacle that a presence came, all, came by me, like... I don't know if the people know the story of the in the Bible in the wilderness where the people were complaining and he sent these uh, serpents or something out there. And uh, I felt that. Um, and it went over me. And uh, Are you talking about so it's uh, been Moses like, in the desert when, when Moses was? Uh, yeah. Yeah, when they had to look up on the snake because of uh, because they were bitten? Yes. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, learning all of this information, you know, reading the Third Testament, the Shepherd of Hermas, the e- 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 Enoch, um, all this information confirmed for me in re- real time documentation of what was already inside of me over the years and the school system and the religious system and the medication and the food and everything gets you all confused. So um, by the time I got to the teaching of the Jezebel spirit, I had been doing some research on narcissism because I could see in my life and my family, it was like really, really bad. And I couldn't really. Well, 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 me, uh, no, I'm sorry, man. Ro, 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 ro. I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. I know you're a family <laughs> friend, and I know you know me. You've been around a long time. But look, <laughs> we got a lot of questions. Um, first of all, we want to know. Uh, what kind of question can I ask you? Exactly when did you notice any change that you could say something switched? Was there a day or are you saying it was a period of time? Because what we, what, what, okay, was there a day? It was a day. It was a day. Like the day that you guys were doing the tabernacle, right. it was happening. It was happening. Right, right. Okay, so it happened during this year in Tabernacle. Something changed in you. Something changed in your spirit. You're saying during the Feast of Tabernacles. Yeah. Were you that? Were you joyful and jumping around and praising the Lord and stuff like that? You know, acting crazy. Yeah, actually, this was the first year that I actually cut branches and I actually have a trumpet. Okay. And I I did that every day. Right, right. By myself. Ooh. But, um, yeah, and and then so but, yeah, okay. But you were so you was growing during the week. But was there a period where you kind of um said 
like a day you remember like singing or anything and like ooh, like a like like did you used to sing a lot i i bet you sing a lot now or something weird right i'm well, not going to put words in your mouth something i was you know what 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 huh it's like the year prior to that i was used to i was singing 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 and you know totally uh, worshiping and praising, right? Right, right, right this right. this year was a little different because you know I, I had a a loss the year before at the same time at Tabernacle. I had a family member pass the same time last year. Right, this year I had you know. Well, well, the thing I, is. I, and, and and I understand how you feel. You kind of knew at this, but the thing is, this change would have correlated to this year only. This, this year. so. I'm well, kinda trying to, I'm kind. Let me act like I'm a lawyer and you're okay. on trial for you, for your life right now. If you don't mind. Let okay. me Let me treat you so, like a so, hostile witness. <laughs> Can I treat you like a hostile witness? Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So, um. So you say you, you were rejoicing during the Feast of Tabernacles, and but, I mean, you were kind of just dancing around like you would normally would. Nothing big, big a deal, right? Right. So when did you notice anything different? When did you say, oh, something is different? Um, I, I woke up one morning, and I felt different. Which morning? And then, <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, since we've, since you've been, we've been talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been, I've been working on my, because for the last week or so, I wasn't writing things down on my calendar. So while I was listening to you just before, you know, I, I have put my calendar up and I'm trying to fill in my days because um, last week uh, my male friend came by and said to me, oh. Something's different about you. Mm. Like, what's what's different about you? Something has changed about you. You're glowing and you're mm. calm and you you know and all of that. And and why I, why I say it's continuing because it is. It's continuing. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm like that day that I woke up. From night after night of like praying, is that live? Um, repentance. Um, I woke up one morning and I was different, and I'm still different. Right now, now and I, no, okay, okay, no, now hold on, now this is this is great. Now, the first thing I want to know is we're going to try to narrow down which day because I've heard reports of people who talk about the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, is that possible that that's the day you're talking about? Yes, that's possible. Yes. Damn it, Stacey. I actually put in a couple of more days. Damn it, Stacey. Damn it, Stacey. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Hello? He'll be back soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I heard your uh, your video. Is this Chris? Yes. I heard your video. That's quite interesting and brave what you did. Your confession? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we all need to do that. That hurt, that hurt. Thank you. I'm sorry about you kids. You guys, <laughs> thank you, Miss Robo. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but, um, so you say you remain like this. How is it that you can remain? Is it just easy or is it hard or is it just natural? How do you feel? Um, 
every day it's like I'm being delivered or released from aggression or sadness, uh, grief, um, fear. Right. Uh, so you grow. What else? Yeah, and I I think another one is that I've noticed when I do that. Let's say, for instance, it's a Sabbath, and I'm I'm confused because that's what what happens to us. We get confused, you know. Oh, you know, the Gregorian calendar has you working like this, and you know the holidays and everything. So you know. Um, you get, get confused on what day it is, what is, that's me anyway, what day it is. And let's say I make an appointment to do something and then I realize that it's a Sabbath day or a fest, festival day. I get out of it. I don't, you know, I just cancel. I don't, I'm just like, okay, whatever, you know, like I'm not going. Like, and, um, yeah. And 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 uh, so, so are you saying the that, more. I'm sorry. Are you are you saying that? No. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little bit excited and I'm kind of a a d d. But you, are you saying that the, the Sabbath day kind of feels different or feels natural? What what did you say? Well, well, it it's like it's like it's the, the whole year thing of the festival dealing with the Sabbath weekly. Um, it's putting us in an alignment of like proper expression, if that makes if, if you you know what I mean. Right, like, it's all star alignments. Yeah, it's it's um, we focusing on the planets. Um, or is it Kimmer and Kizu or Pleiades and Orion? Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's, when you did that video too about the constellations and the new system of constellations in place. And that the so-called negative ones is what we see at night. Um, that really, you know, clicked for me. Like I, I got that part. I was like, okay, so that makes sense. And see, maybe people that are considered to have attention deficit or some sort of disorder, whatever they've called it, uh, we're. I believe from my life experience that we're very sensitive to these frequencies and vibrations. So, um, well, well, hold on now. We, um, well, I don't know about all of that stuff, but what the scripture and what science and everything talks about is the planet, um, cluster Pleiades and Orion are the, um, they're very special. Let me just say that. I don't, I don't, I don't really study astrology other than a basic one-on-one -on -one class, but then I did say astrology, right? Astronomy. Which one's Astronomy. The, which one's the good one? <laughs> I don't remember. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the one in college. But what instead of what is it's not so much as tuned into a, a vibration of a certain person. I mean, we're all brothers and sisters, so it's nothing unique about us. It's the fact that we were. I believe that we were doing what what we were supposed to do, like in a tense and, and in the spirit on the, that particular day, because. I kind of only got to a um, introductory class on that. I wanted to get more in depth because on a particular day during that festival, Tabernacles, there was the perfect alignment. Right, right, it was the full moon. Right, right. That uh, not, and and because of you know the um, variations in you know last month, it wasn't right on the fifteenth. Maybe and it was right around. But when you looked at it on a certain day. It was right past the moon. There was the cluster of Pleiades, and it, it had recently dawned on me that's what they're talking about when they say shoot for the moon and you'll at least be amongst the stars. All right, yeah. Only on tabernacles, yeah. though. Yeah, only on tabernacles, though. So that could have been, you know, you know, something. That, and that would explain what happens with my wife because she actually pulled up camp when the others pulled up camp over their photos. She kind of, you know left too so that's why i'm asking these questions i'm wondering how can i get her is there a way to get her back or has she messed up or you know because what is it a is it a is it because you know the shepherd of Hermes you referenced that it says on a certain day that um there will come a day that we 
will it says we'll be changed in a matter similar to what you're talking about and what she experienced for three days. And but if we sin, we would only have one time to you know get back. And I think that's where my wife is at. I think you now still have your sin card to play, and never forget I said that. <laughs> Everybody else will giggle. But Stacy has already played hers, and I'm, I'm kind of in this investigation thing that maybe she still has hers to, you know, still has another shot. Now, could you speak on that at all? Maybe that that's possible? Well, well, from the Shepherd of Hermes, when they break down uh, the different, um, let's say, categories or groups of beings, um, if if the if you if you're being able to repent, like really repent, not like I'm so sorry, you know, but really repent, that that means that the angel of repentance is there. And so um the angel of repentance sort of guides you through it. Like, yeah, you get punished. Okay, maybe that's not the right word, but it doesn't seem like, and from what I'm reading, he does. It doesn't completely cast you out because you're already at a certain place already. Like you didn't get there by accident. Right. So, so you're saying anybody. So you said everybody has a chance. Then, 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 then any. Then you would have a multiple shot. Then that's that's true. You you. She has more than one chance as long as she don't go. To the to the bad mountain is, but that but you would disagree, of course, right? Well, um, the 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 thing that I've experienced with dealing with other spirits, no, no. let's say, mm -hmm. um, recognizing them and um, either removing yourself from it or confronting it like speaking to these people truthfully uh, well well I'm saying what I'm saying is um like okay in the shepherd of hermes it talks about a day in which all of us will experience what you and Stacy experienced I too think I'm involved in it a little bit too but I I I you know now well, if this is true hold on for a second I, 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 okay if this is true uh -huh. If, if, and because there's been several reports of similar things around the world, and I, I believe it's like increasing, it's not always, you know, it's kind of gets, it's kind of building up, like you said earlier. But my question is okay, let's say that I have experienced what you have, right? And I have, I'm just a male version of mm -hmm. this, like a sin, I don't care about nothing bothering me kind of thing, you know, goofy, you know, kind of, right? And, but let's, but I, I kind of, but the way, I ain't, well, the way sh the Shepherd of Hermes says it is that if I sin, I'm going to fall back, right? Back where I was, right? Right. Yes, right? Right. So now, and, and like you says, Roro, it's going to put me back on a certain mountain and let's say perhaps it puts me back on my the mountain I was on, which would have been, let's say, for instance, the Chipped Mountain. Now my question is, can I run back to the, to the get a, or how do I get back or what do I have to do now that I'm back where I started from, understanding that I, that this is my last chance. There is no more other chance. Okay, when do when do I get this chance? Okay, when do I say I'm ready for this chance? When do you need to sign that up? How do you how do you get back on the path? I know you may not know. You know, I know you're not an expert in a, in a matter, and I know you're not experienced in a matter, and I'm actually asking you almost to guess. But I'm not. I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> so this, 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 let it flow. You know, I know you got to reach in a little bit and think about it. How would I recover if, if I were you and decided, you know what, I'm going to sweep my floor on the Sabbath day or I'm going to go wash my car. I'm just going to, you know, whatever. I'll just break the Sabbath day. I just get back on the next one. Uh, next what? Next seven years? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Next well... Month? I mean, at the end of yeah, at the end of the day, that's all the. I mean, I don't know about other people, but for me, that's how I feel about it. Okay, if I fall down, I'm just gonna get back up and try know. again. Okay, all right, great. Well, 
How, so how do you feel? I mean, is it just wonderful? Do you feel like, what are you doing? Are you, are you ready to take on new projects in life? Or what does it feel like? I mean, it feels yeah. like... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I started doing readings on the Third Testament. I, I decided that I was going to do and use my gifts to help people. I decided that um, I would stop lying. I would, you know, forgive people. But it's not really me. Right? I mean, right. I, I, I guess I, I guess because I have the desire to be that way, I'm getting the assistance to be that way. But if I didn't have the desire, maybe it would be different, you know, but I, I'm grateful that I do. And since I've acknowledged that I truly do, it's not a freak figment of my imagination. I really believe that that's who I am. Then I don't really have any other reason to be, you know, to do anything else here but that. So, um, you know, when I read the scriptures and talks about, you know, our use our talents and our abilities, and so I, I, I don't have anything else to do. Well, well let like me. You were saying like, I'm sorry. Like just do music and read and read and study and help, you know, give people books and. Well, let me ask you this, um, Roro. Let me ask you this: did, did you do all of this before Tabernacles, or was there a change in um, the, the 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 amount of scripture you were absorbing, for instance? Well, this past year, I don't have, I didn't have anything else to do. What what I'm talking about? Well, we've narrowed down this change you said to the Feast of Tabernacles. And so I really want to focus in on that because this is the year 2023, the, the sabbatical year. So we were already expecting changes around this time. And we were expecting nothing. I know you're saying you're different from last year. but I'm saying different from last week, the week before the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, I know you may have been doing some extra cleaning and stuff like that and all of that. But do, you, do you, would you say that this, you, you were reading the same amount of scripture or same quality of scripture before the Feast of Tabernacles as you was before? after the Feast of Tabernacles in the year 2023 alone? Um, well, I was reading a lot last year, too. But, yeah, I would say, for, yeah, I would say I, I'm doing a lot more this year. Okay, here go host, hostile witness. Hey, 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 judge, can I whack her? <laughs> no, can I smack her in the lid? You Okay. You do understand the smack, right? You're not going to call now. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. But forget last year. I know you had a bad time last year. I had a great time last year. But that ain't got nothing to do with this year. Okay. <laughs> because it's this year that, that that is key. And next year that is, you know, could be key as well. But, but what I'm saying was, what I'm trying to get at is did the scripture change you or did you change the scripture? Was you, okay, let's say a month before the Feast of Tabernacles and here a month after the Feast of Tabernacles, how did your your scripture reading change? Well, when you were, when you started to go live and you discussed the issues that you had with the people that came to visit you, I could relate to that because I had encounters with people, you know, um, I had invited, you know, um, people to do the tabernacle with me and, uh, it, you know, we had a snowstorm and everything. My, my tent covering blew off and tore. So I was kind of disturbed and I didn't know really what to do. And, so I decided to clean my, you know, my living room out and brought my tent, my, you know, my tent inside. And then I had a friend who was like, oh, I, I, I thought, oh, this is an opportunity. Maybe I can go hang out with some friends. 
and explain to them and show them, you know, how to be in the tabernacle and all that. And they were like, what? It's too cold outside. You know, you should just let that go. Don't be stupid and be outside. And, you know, so people kind of took, you know, the people that I was talking to, they kind of took it like, I don't know, like uh, a joke, not, not, not so much a joke, but they didn't take it seriously. Like it was more than a camping trip, you know? So I understood that because I was, I would, I was, I was offended. I would, I get offended um, when I'm, when I'm dealing with people and with these festivals. Uh, and the teachings that I'm learning, and um, so I did a couple of other couple of extra days because I lost a day because I didn't have my tent and so on and everything. So I brought it in the house, but it just uh, for sure I go to bed sometimes listening to scripture. You know the okay. the okay. the so, the, so, the drawing. Well, let me ask you, know, you this now because I, I know you don't have much time. But so let me let me ask you this. You say the repentant part. You say you feel yeah. like there's an increase of repentance or was it a sudden shift in repentance? Like like you, you kind of made it almost sound like you woke up and it was a brand new day and there was butterflies and stuff just popping out of, you know, rainbows. And all yeah, that. because the days, sorry to cut you off, but, but the days leading up to that was horrendous. Mm. It's painful. Mm. Tell me it's more. Horrible. Tell, me, tell, tell me. Tell us more. What happened? Because it was kind of like that. But tell me more. Well, it's like you go between sleeping and awake. Of memory, it's like you going through memories that you don't even, you know, maybe your parents did or somebody, grandpa. I don't know, but. You, you know, you're going through a series of these memories coming up inside of you. Things that you did, that you said, that it's like it's like it's in layers. It's like in layers. And what I feel that happened recently had to is dealing with relationship between men and us females. This was like a, a, like a, some sort of cover on top and we could never get there right we couldn't get to that level and this past experience of the the you know the series of repentance and crying and aching and being sick and sleeping and whatever this time we got to this level where this door opened to help us understand the, this level of repentance when we're dealing with uh, our our men, our relationships as females, our relationships to men. So, yeah, I think that I think that uh, changed the game because we've been working so hard to get to that place. I don't know. I'm, I, I'll speak for myself as a female. But I know I've been working so hard to get to that place. And when I started to learn about, become aware of myself out, you know, acting out uh, when I'm dealing with men, uh, people, men that I love, want to protect, you know, and all that. Right, right. You know, I act out and it's like the complete opposite of what I wanted to do, right? Right. So... So that was so painful, but now being able to, you know, recognize these spirits, because most people think that's just part of their personality to be, you know, arrogant and lying. Karen, and, Kylie, be a Karen. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm wrong. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Nothing. No, I'm sorry. I was talking to nobody. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. <laughs> No, uh, no, it's just that I'm just so grateful. I'm just grateful. I mean, I, I you know, leading up to it hasn't been a, a, a parade, but I'm grateful. I'm just grateful that, you know, um, uh, yes. I'm not crazy. 
I'm not crazy. No, you're not. You're not. It's actually what we're all expecting. And that's what's so wonderful about this is that your experience is ex almost exactly like Stacy's. Except it was way different. It's exactly like it was way different. But um, because um, she was really only given three days, and we were told she we were told she was only gonna get three days, and so <laughs> we thought she was talking about, and maybe we thought we were really talking about something different, because her sh she just there was a quick shift and a shift back. But the rest of us, maybe that were up. I hope mine it was like more closer to yours. What if 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 you if something were to keep you up at night? And you sound like you like worry free. But let's if so, okay. If you're worried about anything, what is it? What bothers you? What's on your mind? I mean, well, I was I, I I was totally, you know fearful, stressed out, mm -hmm. feeling sad and guilty this past year. Right, right, and, right. You know, all I don't that know. went away, though, right? All that went away, though, right? Yeah. I'm saying yeah, right now. Because... I'm saying today. When you, I'm saying today. Okay, when you wake up in the morning, what do you pray for is kind of what I'm saying. What what, what bothers you? What do you pray for? Like world peace? I know, just... Bologna sandwich, what? I, I, I say the Lord's Prayer. I pray for my... my, my 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 family, my people, the world, you know, everybody. I pray, you know, mm -hmm. I've learned the simplicity of being grateful that I have a meal. Right, but well, okay, well, what about the people over in the war? Do you worry about the war? I mean, I worry about the war, but I can't watch it. But I, I, does that bother you? Or you're like, eh, dad, never mind. The economy, oh, never mind. Cause if I go to prison, you know, never mind. But I'm what bothers you? I mean, or do, are you well, just really it, carefree in life, or are you just really carefree in life where you like, you know, like the bird, like the tree? Nothing bothers the tree. Oh, you like that? It's what I'm asking. Now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Now, or do you feel like care like nothing in the world could phase you? Like you could just die, and it's like, okay, well, oh well. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. That's the way Stacy. That's the way Stacy <laughs> was. It was like nothing bothered her. It was like it was like yeah, the world could implode, and and we felt the same. <laughs> it was like there we were like the world could go away, and it was like mm, well, <laughs> I guess we'll catch the next planet. <laughs> you feel like that, right? Yeah. That's the way she felt. But it's like and it's, she, and it's she like emanated it, and she it was an aura around her <laughs> that was like that. <laughs> I'm serious. Y'all think I'm kidding. Y'all thought I was kidding. You don't know more, do you? <laughs> 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 Who got the last last? <laughs> oh, let me stop. <laughs> Sorry. But I think that that aura that you're talking about is it affects the people too around you, like like uh, the people, let's say, with the war and what's going on. It's like when we do that prayer, we, we we say the prayer of the will, let the will, let the Father's will be done, right? So, we, because we don't know who the Father has uh, chosen, to, you know, or who's having a relationship with him. So, we can't really do anything other than ask the Father's will, but we pray for those people, like, you know, I make, you know, sometimes when I remember, if I eat something, I think about the children that may not have food. You know, like I try to do that. And it's, and it's not even like, you know, uh, <clears throat> yeah, of course, when you do something, you can immediately feel the, 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 the reward of it, right? Like, you can you get the reward reward immediately. Like if you do something or help somebody, give something to somebody, you feel it immediately in your spirit, and you know that was a good thing. And so, what would happen if you sin? You know, what would happen if you do a bad thing? What would, what, what what do you think would happen? Like you would like melt into some like well, stuff. Well, you, you get immediate. You get in, You get immediately. You feel it. Like a, you don't like feel a, good. Like a, yeah, okay. Yeah. 
So, you don't so, feel so good. So that will force you into doing back righteousness because you actually feel like you're doing something wrong. It's got to push you back in the right direction. Yeah. That's the, that's see, the, it's that's a, the new it's, it's learning. Thing. Boom, y'all. We're learning. It's like it's like we're being guided through it. It's like, oh, now I'm conscious. Okay, so like if I do that, you know, like even to the point where if I go uh, and spend time with a guy, a man, just, you know, outside of my mate, the spirit tells me, okay, that's enough. So you don't, you, you can't, don't talk about this type of stuff. With, like it's training us, training me in every area. Everything is being like, I'm being trained how to behave. Yeah, Simon. Yeah, as we speak, I mean, it's it's amazing. How do you feel like a connection with like the spirit well at all? Like you, anything different there? Like you can pray better or hear more? Or... Yeah, that's why I was saying like I'm starting to not have to talk to people so much. Like I don't need to. Um, I don't know what scripture it is, but when it talks about the female, instead of uh, approaching the man, to pray to the Father through the Holy Spirit. Now, that's not where every man, like, you know, because some people are, you know, dealing with people that, you know, don't believe in the Father and all that. So it's a little bit more complicated, a little longer, and takes, you know, more effort. But typically, if you're dealing with somebody who uh, loves the Father, they're just growing too, um, to pray in spirit opposed to talking. Because the Father says he'll take care of it. But we have to ask. I'm learning all of this. Right, learning. And so, you, so it's like a... Um, did you, so do you think you like could have just started off from where you were and then it's like a um maybe a, a jolt and then you kind of just pro or do you think it was like a quick shift like I mean like okay you said Well, you, it's you, a process. Because let me tell you what you said. Let me tell you what I heard you say. You said almost like you woke up and there was these butterflies and stuff busting out of these rainbows and stuff like you know like you know but you also said that you like felt a desire to do right. Now was this simultaneous? Like it was like a okay, you wake up and okay, now I'm gonna figure out my life and everything will be perfect from now. Oh, my no, I think no. it's okay. Go ahead. It's a uh, it's a uh, okay. It's like okay, if you if you think that you are a good person, and then you find out that you're really not. Okay. Right, right, right. But if you think you're a good person and you, okay, let's say maybe you act like a good person, but you don't think you're a good person. That's, um, and then you find out, you find out that you find out that you really are a good person mm -hmm. and it's not some phantom, like you really are that. Yeah, right. Uh, you lose the um, you lose the unforgiveness. You like all your stuff you cared about goes away. Like, yeah, if you if you can forgive, that's a gift of how you were created. Not everybody is forgiving. Some people got to work really hard on it. So you know, some people, it's kind of like their nature. And so every, you know, we're, 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 we're all the, you know, we're all loved by the creator right. and, but we're all different in, in his creation. And so some so people, some people have to work on other things. Right. right. And like, some I people, I was about to ask, like, what would you suggest? Like the woman, 
like the the Karen, like the lady that you you see on the TV that's, you know, saying I I, I don't care what the truth is. I, I'm gonna call the police anyway, and and, and they go yeah that that lady with the, the you know I, and the lady that says hey, you know I don't I don't need the stuff you got um here that's offer me husband I'm I'm gonna just leave and go go somebody I don't need this junk you know I don't need you. What do you offer, you know, these kind of ladies to say, you know, because you was doing it before, and I, I just kind of want to hear give you the opportunity to verbalize it. You know, what would you offer? What would you say to these ladies that's, that are at the bottom of the rung, the opposite end of where you are now, even farther than where you ever was? What would you say to them to encourage them or at least get them on the path to, to, to being a, to being kind of where you're at? You, 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 <laughs> I don't know who y'all talking to. I do. <laughs> Tell them. What, what do they need to do? Well, what I say to my friends, to my female friends. Is, mm -mm, no, uh-uh, no, I ain't talking about them. I ain't talking about them chicken heads. You know. Okay. I'm talking about the people on my show that that joke okay. don't know you. Well. The, the mean one okay. that down at the jailhouse with the lady in the stripes in the green in the jailhouse. When they bring you into their jailhouse, talk to all them ladies in the stripes and the mean ones down, the ones that's supposed to be there. What do you tell them that they do when they get back home? They get, they get out of jail. What do you need to do? Mm. Well, that's that's a tough one because it's hard. It's it's hard to take your time. Take your time. It's 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 a hard one because you have to kind of spend a little time with them. I mean, you can tell them first, of course, they probably have experienced something while they were in there, encounters with, you know, the, with the spirit. Well, let me, I see, I see your struggle. You like, you try to, you try to reach a little bit too far for me now, but I, I I'm at the point where she's already repentant, but she's still broken. Okay. She's broke. She's repentant, right. but she's broken. She don't know what to do. She don't know about the Bible, that kind of stuff. What did she go to church? Did she come, you know, channel the, for Hermes Academy? You got an hour to tell this lady what she needs to do to spin her off that now she's going to go take off her uh, chains and stuff and she's going to go put on a wedding ring, you know, in about a year or three years or whatever, based on what you tell her. What would you tell her? Well, from my experience, I, I, I see that females and males are, are, are different. We're, we're not created the same as men are. In the sense that um, when we have sexual relations with a man, it goes through our whole body into our heart. And if we have multiple ones, then we become very crazy. Like we get really crazy. And I tried, I would tell them that first, like, you know, we're, first of all, we're created kind of different. And um, because of what has happened in history, a lot of the females have crossed this borderline where, you know, we've almost not been able to return back to, to where we were supposed to be as females. Well, you brought up and Willie so, Lynch earlier. You talked about Willie Lynch earlier, and that, so we did have some help in that area. At least some of us did, but, but even all of society is the same. Yeah, I, I see your point. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, too, it's like I, I'm i all for the multitude and the rest of the world. I have no problems with other people, other races. I love them like, you know, I, I, I can love them like, you know, my, my family, my brother, sister, whatever. But I am a dark-skinned person, oh. you know, right? And so, of course, I'm going to break down the Willie Lynch information, to really break down the Willie Lynch information and the Jezebel spirit to my people because it's really, it's really rampant well, in our people. Uh, well, well let, me, let me stop you because there's no need. The only thing about the the, the Willie Lynch, it, it it all all it did was take the Karen spirit and use it as a weapon. They basically to teach it, but um. It, it regardless, it doesn't matter. All that means is that that particular race has more of them than other races. But you will find that particular Karen race in all of the races, just maybe not so much. 
So I don't think it's necessary to get into the race aspect, but I would like you to treat the Willie Lynch thing, like I said, like it was wep like it was a weaponized version of what would have been natural woman just misbehaving or whatever. So yeah, I mean I understand you know because you know it's not really a race thing like you said, but we can use the, what we can use the Karen image of today, and we can use the um, Willie Lynch instruction of of the past and say okay. This is what she looks like. This is how she made her, and you know when we, you know, this is what she looks like. So yeah, well, yeah. How would you turn? How would you turn her around? Generally speaking, how do you turn this woman around? What do you say? You need to sit down and take a bath and what up? Take a listen to your husband. What do you say? Go to church. What do you pick up the Bible? Well, what I'm saying? Or really how do you how do you take off in your direction? Like if yeah. Well, that's actually that's surprisingly enough well it's not really but baths are play a, a really good part in the process the baptism of, yeah right yeah yeah but then uh, what, but then what? okay we baptize but then what is that gonna is that gonna because we do that all the time nobody i mean it's like what i'm wondering yeah. is, do we miss the boat <laughs> did, did we miss the boat or do we have to wait next year or next seven years or is there like it is there do you feel like any woman can be what be who you are in a period of time because you know to be to be free is is that's that's significant you know everybody has resentments and stuff they gotta remember. want to no I you mean, gotta more you know, than want to everybody wants to be a good person yeah I'm you got yeah pass the want to okay now what do I pick up a book <laughs> what do I do well I I think no prayer has a lot to do with it yeah. I mean. You know, yeah, right, you got to talk to the people. I mean, that's first of all, you got to be able to, you got, and you can't really have a script, you know, like it's the spirit that talks. So it's according to uh, the person, the person that's going to be standing in front of you. I don't have scripts. I don't, you know, I talk right. to a well, person. Well, I think you did good when you said the so, baptism because, you know, that kind of comes first, right? You said the water and we talked about the baptism. And then, because if that's the case, and here and this is important, if what well, you, most if, of the people well, hold don't on, understand. Hold on, let, me, let me get this out because if, if what you said, if what you said was important, then that means that all that means is that we have transitioned past a certain point in history, and anybody who takes uh, who gets baptized right now will will basically experience what you experience until they kind of mess it up. You feel like maybe that's true. Well, <laughs> I think so. That's that's what I'm understanding. Well, that's key here because then that, that gives a lot of people hope because many people didn't know about tabernacles and missed the opportunity that you saying you had because you were listening to the coach in the fight. You're telling them now that maybe they can just get baptized now that we've passed this point in history, and that's key now. Past this point in history, you're like I couldn't do it last. No, you couldn't. I have these. This is the, the sabbatical year 2023. This is, we were, we've been waiting on this. And you're saying that, oh, mm -hmm. I mean, do, I mean, of course we have to, you know, do more. But sounds like it's, we have a consensus that maybe pop, possibly their baptism is going to be the key to actually um, the shift in our spirit. Yeah. Once they, once they, once, I mean, that would probably, you know, once you talk about baptism, explain how baptism has been incorrectly done in the past and get them to understand what exactly what repentance is what exactly they're repenting about because people think um because i tell people every nation that i meet anybody that i meet is we we have to sort of we have to repent for our, our parents you know even though we can't you know um, it's not us that saved them, but we can we can we can be in the position of praying and repenting for ourselves in our life, this life that we have from being born from our parents, and then repent and forgive the parents um, because of their lack of knowledge, right? And and then it goes further into the ancestral line of a people, so. Uh, baptism becomes um, 
And now we have so much information about water, you know, the research on water and how water, you know, um, has this, you know, magical properties and all that kind of stuff. Well, so hold on. Well, different... I don't know about magical properties. Um, well, you know, well, well, okay, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, you know, people, people, <laughs> no, no, sister, sorry, okay. sorry. Yeah, the, 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 um, the end scenes, when you read about in the end scenes, they, they understood the spirit of the water. See, right. There's a spirit of the air, there's a spirit of the, the trees, the spirit of the deer, there's a spirit of everything. Of course, our spirits are like Michael, Gabriel, you know, blah, blah, blah. But the spirit of the water, the thing about the spirit of the water, if you invite it to somehow, you know, kind of say a prayer like baptism, it will cleanse your body of all your, um, um, your of all its, you know, impurities. And is that, you know, basically removing you of all your sins. Many of us not, I don't know if many of us are doing a spiritual sin. But they was able, even before John the Baptist, to take advantage of the spirit of the water um, in order to basically purify themselves. So it's not really magic. It's just that there are spirits over these things, and that one is a purifying spirit, and that's why we use it in baptismal practices. Yeah, right. Sorry, I used that word. And there's the stories in the Bible where the angels uh, stirred the water, I think there was the one story with um, when Jesus, um, um, the Messiah, was dealing with a, a man who couldn't walk or whatever. And the one there, there's another story about the uh, is it, um, um, man, one guy who is a prophet to dip himself in water seven times. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. other consciously. Well, I think I'm starting to lose you. I think oh, I'm I, uh, yeah. I well, think with water, we'll consciously use it, and we we understand what we're doing. Well, you know. So, so, that, so, I, if what you're saying is true, then we, even I, if I wanted to experience it. Maybe I can get baptized myself. What do you, what, do you, what would you think on that? I'm not, not and I and I, and, I, and I, see the reason why I ask you these questions. I feel like I'm in a brainstorming with more than one people because from what I understand, you and I talking, there's a third in the mix, and I know what I'm hearing. My father, so I can I can sound off you and and, and to see if you know what you're talking about. So feel free to like qualify your answers if you must, but um, don't be afraid to, to to talk about how you feel. About <clears throat> say baptizing baptizing yourself. What would you suggest that the ladies go jump in the shower and do the thing, and then you know, or does she need to really get another person to do it? Well, uh, I I used to do it by myself, mm -hmm. and then I I listened to a couple of your teachings on baptism, and then. I had the revelation that because of where we are in our world, like, you know, most of us aren't going to church anymore. Um, so we're not going to go get baptized at the church. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So if we're having this relationship with the creator, um, we sh we're 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 the one it's actually the creator that's baptizing us or lighting us that we baptized or give it you know so we're 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 learning the word and it's becoming in us we're becoming that so we go in the water every time we get a revelation of some stuff we did like you know get in the water like, well, it's just, it's just, it's, every, go ahead. And every year, as we learn to keep it, the festivals, we, you know, we get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. That it's not so painful, the repentance part or the the mistake or whatever that we do. 
and it starts to make sense that you know when you need to take a shower or you need to take a bath, not just to be clean because of your body, you know, but to be cleaned in your, you know, the spirit ramp. So would you, would, so if somebody, so if somebody came and said you was under the new covenant and you ain't need the law, you can burn up your whole Bible, what would you say? If somebody came to me and told me that I shouldn't do those things? No, no, I uh, no, opposite. They say you, 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 you sat, based on what you said, you able to just carry out, you know when, you know right from wrong now, and you don't need it no more. I, I don't need the Bible no more. Just like, just like I don't need my, uh, my, uh, driver's ed manual or my, I don't need it no more. I know how to drive now. Well, I don't, I think that eventually my body my soul and spirit and everything will know when the seasons are changing and when it's, you know, because I'm feeling, I can feel sometimes now I can tell when it's the Sabbath, I should be resting. I can feel it. It put, it may even put me to sleep. That's what I'm talking about. I, yeah. That's what I mean. You, you don't even need the Bible no more. You know, you already know it. To a certain point, but you know, I believe after a while, we won't, like, because it's in us. Yeah, and this is but a matter of growth. I, would, I wouldn't get rid of it. I won't get rid of it. <laughs> no. I keep it, I'll keep all these books as long as I can keep them. Because I keep them, you know, I keep them for the children. <laughs> wow. Well, uh... I'm looking at this useful, useless collection of uh, dust magnets up here. So, you said earlier. Oh, yeah. that You said I'm sorry. You said earlier that you um. You you feel like your your prayers are out. some about wow you can feel prayer back or something like that. Like prayers are answered faster or something like that. Did you say something like that? Yeah. I can see it. I can see it in the people around me, and I, and 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 I don't have to. It's not like. I guess it's kind of like when you were talking about your neighbor. You said something like he, he doesn't know that you'd be praying, and you know, things start working in in his yard or something like that. So I think that has a lot to do with it that you don't get your ego in there, like, oh, I prayed and, you know, kind of thing. Right, I right. think when you have real love for the people that you, you're you praying for or that you see, that's when it works. Right. So are you healing people? So I see people being healed. I'm not saying it's me, but I definitely pray for them and talk to them and tell them stuff. I get, try to give them pop copies of the books and, you know, you know, every t opportunity that I have that they'll listen, I tell them. And they haven't, you know, right, they haven't yeah. fit my safe yet. <laughs> well, just lean into it, lean into it. You got to see, hey, maybe you can pray for me from long distance. We can see, let me see what I need to pray for. A lot of my body got healed. I feel like I was out there doing pull-ups a few minutes ago. I told to my kids to do some pull-ups. He's sitting there sailing. <laughs> like an old Marine at, at the first day of boot camp, so I had to pull up there. I, just, <laughs> I was actually surprised at how, how I got up there, so. My body seems to be stronger. What about yours? You, you say your body, is your body getting the same or weaker or better or no change or what? I feel the, I feel that what's happening now is, it's like my body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, the thing about eating meat and pork or whatever, I mean, you know, I noticed for myself personally, I, when I stop eating certain foods, I notice a, 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 a big change in my body. So all of that to say is um, as, as the Sabbath days are kept, 
I find my body stronger. Like it doesn't get sick. It doesn't get tired like it used to. Um, you know, like my mind is clearer. I don't even need so much food. Right, and right, it's right. Taking, yeah. It's taking away things that don't really, you know, like I don't eat when I'm not hungry. It's teaching me discipline. Like I'm being disciplined with my food, okay. with everything. Hmm, money and everything, or just everything. I mean, that too. All everything has changed, huh? Yeah. In the short period of time, though, you, you, you I mean, it seems like it, it seems like it would have hurt, you know, changed recently, like in the last just chap piece of time and that, because are you still saying it, it changed over the course of a year? Uh. It's changed in the course of a year, but since Tabernacles, it's it's like I get a check in the mail, you know, like I'm uh, uh, something. I, it's there. Somebody, something will help me. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Hmm. The, the you know that sadness thing snapped me right out. Like when you talk about the separate of hermit, sadness and grief, these these things, these spirits. What about them? I prayed on them. I prayed on it. And they went away. I prayed on. Yes. So is that what you mean by the prayers are being answered faster? It feels like it, from what I can see, from what I feel. It seems like it. Once people understand how to pray, because I didn't know how to pray. I used to think praying was the, I honestly, when I was really young, I thought, what? That's the weapon? Prayer? I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I had ever heard in my life. Hmm. Hmm. But now, I don't know if you, do you want, do you, can you call it telepathic too? Like when you're talking, when you're praying for other people and, you know, talk, you talk, you actually having a conversation, you can talk to other people. Well, can you hear back from him? I'm sure I you talk to him, but can you hear back though? It's not that you hear back, but it's like a pleasant feeling. So you get a sense of of accomplishment as if your prayers were answered and you can rest about what you've done. Yeah. Because there's coming a day when we're actually supposed to be able to hear back, which would mean that the other person was <laughs> spiritualized like yourself you you have what the what the third testament called you are spiritualized yeah well um you know, for me at the end of the day i am so glad that i'm not crazy mm -hmm. okay like i really believe like okay something's seriously wrong with me because i'm well, just way Huh? I think Stacy went through some of that too, where she just felt like, yeah, that she was, this, that she was crazy, or somebody was gonna say she was crazy, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because everything that you are is against um, what the what the what the Father wants you to be in this world. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have certain likes and dislikes and when you don't do that when you're not that yeah it's 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 uh it's not fun you lose all your friends and people you know people don't like you they don't want to be around you that's why we lie and deceive we we don't know that's what it is but that's that's what we're doing until we learn that 
okay? You're not being true to yourself, your, tr- your spirit, you, who you are. And when, you, you know, when I, maybe because of all that I went through in the last year, I'm just, I'm just raw now. I don't have any concern about what other people think. In fact, I don't even, you know, I'm like, okay, God, you know, Father will give me a whole new group of friends. Yeah, that's the way it's case was. So, but, so, okay, now, it's, so what do you do now? Did you just quit your job and go live with the trees, or do you just hold fast and wait for the pole shift? I, have anything changed in your aspirations in life, or what? Right now, um, like I was saying a little bit earlier, at the end of the day, I'm a female. What do I need? I need a man. I need protection. I need shelter. I need food. I need God. And, without, you know, I can't really have any of that without the Father. So I've decided that that's what I want. So... Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto thee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. So when we're talking to men, when you talk about and you break down that Jezebel spirit where the man is working himself to death and she's on the bed depressed, that's, that's the Jezebel spirit. What? When you're talking about them celebrating these holidays and all this kind of stuff. It becomes clear. And then, you know, uh, for us who might be in the wrong relationship and maybe have had a lot of relationships and all that, at some point you find out, okay, this one is not for me. And it don't mean that he's got to be, he, you know, he's not perfect and all this and blah, 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 but he don't love the creator. Mm. So he can have some problems, but if he don't love the creator, it's just a nightmare. That's right. just a no, waste of it's time. Right, a nightmare. Right. So mm-hmm. if, he, if, he, if he loves the creator, then you can, you can work with that because he has a relationship with the creator. He's just going through the same layers of, you know, strongholds and delusions and all that other stuff to go along with everything. So, yeah. So today. Well, um, well let me ask you this. No, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. But I got so many questions. Let me ask you this. You, you keep talking about your boyfriend and stuff. Is there any change? Do you have a boy? You keep wanting to talk. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. But I also had a I lot of a- men around. Okay. I want to know. Yes. Yeah, let's that. Okay. I don't want to get in your business or nothing. But like, no, do but. Do you feel like my, the relationship but, with your boyfriend has changed? And according to the scripture, has it changed from a more of a wifely Type relationship to more of a sisterly type relationship at all? Yes. Yeah. Explain that. Well, I humbled myself and I surrendered to my humility, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I stopped fighting and arguing with him. Mm-hmm. And it helped because I was different to the point where he re- he recognized it. And because he recognized it, I saw that it was real. I was like, because I noticed it. I'm like, okay, I feel different because I've been praying and, 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 and doing, you know, trying to, understand myself through these spirits and how they're working in my life. So I started looking at just everyday conversations. Okay. Did I lie about that? Okay. Who did I deceive today? Oh, you know, did I really want to do that? 
did I really want to say that? Humble myself, you know, apologize or all, you know, make it known to the other people, let's say other men, that you, you know, I'm completely, I don't care if you, you know, how many apples you bring, whatever you do for me, if it, if that's not, you know, what you want, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. But then getting to the place where you don't even want to take an apple from another man. Right. Okay. Like, that's how, that's how it's got to get to. Hmm. You got to, it's almost like you got to put yourself in such a position that you leave the man all the room that he needs to get himself in position Hmm. and trust that the creator is going to work that out. But the woman has to stay put in that sort of, how can I don't, uh, humble, him, him, humble place. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, if you love the man, just, just love him. Just accept that's it. Don't fight it. You know, don't, you know, pretend that you don't. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, surrender to it. And, and let all the other stuff you you talk to the creator with it. Everything, every issue you got with the man, how you feel about it, anything about him, talk to the creator. And that's with really anybody, but you know, since that's the most intimate one, you know, because the creator said that he's actually. Our, he's our provider. He's our protection. So he says that the, the man is our covering, our provider, our protection. So if, if we go outside of the man, we have to go straight to the father. Right. So if we're with if we're with a man then we got to get in that position where he's he's give him the room to get into that place where the father wants him to be that's what i that's what i've been doing hmm. okay. and it seems to be working okay so and i'm at peace either way it goes hmm. either way it goes i'm at peace My- yeah, I just got general peace, huh? Just peace upon peace, peace. Yeah. Well, sounds like yeah, you passed all my tests. I tried to check you up a few times. Hey, you, hi, hi, y'all can judge for yourself. <laughs> she kind of, she kind of fits the description of what we would consider a spiritualized individual in the Third Testament, and someone who was actually under the New Covenant. You know, people say, you know, we under the New Covenant, we ain't got to do this. No, you see, she. It's more like a, um, like it's a part of you, huh? Would you say? The covenant is like yeah, a part the, of you. That's what yeah, the Bible says. I'm just quoting what the Bible says. It says it, it kind of melts into you to where you, it, it, it becomes a part of your heart almost. They all go together. Mm-hmm. All three books. And, and, and I'm talking about like the law and the covenant stuff, but like a way to drop you on another planet, you feel like you could just meld into it and know what to do? Like what the laws yeah. were and when the feast days were and what you're supposed to eat and what you ain't supposed to eat and still can you be able to survive just on your the, 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 um, sense, the, um, what is it, um, dreams, intuition and dreams, intuition and uh, conscious. Oh, you're conscious? You think you'd be able to survive on your conscious mm-hmm. alone? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, that's a big one. Why do you say that? That's a big. Well, because now I I can hear it. What? What do you mean? I can hear my conscience now. I didn't. I, it it was there, but I didn't. 
believe it. And now, he's the, it, take the spirit has been, yeah, it's been teaching me from the past of how he was communicating with me to now that is becoming more prevalent. That voice from the past where there was all these other voices, there was always a voice that was talking to me that gave me information about the stuff that I've, I'm sorry. I'm learning. I'm sorry. That I've come to learn. I'm sorry to cut you off. I need to go make some coffee. Hold on. So keep going. Just, just keep talking. <laughs> I'm going to have to be up for a minute. No, but, um, yeah, the conscious um, intuition and that, I didn't. And I think that's where that that barrier of the relationship to man comes into place for us females because that part is blocked. So our intuition and our conscious is kind of um, not flowing. Hmm. Not flowing now or before? Before the change, like before? Yeah, before before the change, it wasn't constantly flowing. But what? now, because of this last. It seems I can't. I won't say it's the last one, but this particular barrier or block has been removed. Now the conscious and the intuition is clearer. There's not so many voices. Not so many voices. Wait, wait, wait. Not so many voices. I thought. I thought wait. The voices went away. Yeah. What voices were there? I thought we were supposed to have more voices in the end times. Like revelation. Well, I don't know. I don't what, know. What is like, like some other, you oh, know. oh, was that, were the, oh, were there other spirits? Because you said some other, about some spirits or some, was it other um, negative entities? So, what were these voices? Yeah. I'm oh. talking about, you know, before you become completely conscious of your relationship with the cre- with the father. You you live in life, you know, living in sin, back and forth, whatever you're doing. And you got all these different possibilities. I call them voices. One voice is telling you, yeah, do this. And there's another one telling you to do this. And then there's this other uh, voice. Right, that- I understand, I understand, I understand. What I was trying to, because he, when you start talking about the conscious, like, I think I almost fell asleep on it. Because it seemed like you said the conscious and did it kind of melded together. You said something about voices. And I'm wondering, was these voices somehow emanating from your conscious as if your conscious was telling you what to do and what not to do? Did I miss something there? Yeah. In the past, it see we well. I didn't even didn't didn't even know that it, if there I was a conscious or not, because from what I can see now, there was a lot of things I wasn't doing properly. So I say that was another voice, <laughs> you know. That was before so that before the change, in. right? But after the change, you said yeah. That, yeah, okay, okay, I got you. There's no voices after the change. You you don't experience any kind of voices now. No. Okay, All right. and. Okay, and then the other voices wasn't really uh, um, internal, audible. I know it wasn't um, outside of you, but it you, it wasn't like a a person's voice saying um, you probably ought to eat that or something like that. It was just a, a knowing. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Okay, all right, good. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. So it's fun. But huh? I did watch the. I went to watch the the Lord of the Rings though. So. What? I did what happened. I all reversed and went backwards. You didn't get in whole trouble for that. <laughs> why, why, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> he says he went south. No, I wouldn't. You want to do I what, just, Mr. Well, <laughs> you want to meet Ms. Pepper? Because. Sorry, you were breaking up. No, go ahead. Yeah, because. Um, 
to be able to recognize these spirits. Yeah, yeah but there ain't nothing in that movie, bro. You don't want them kind of spirits. You don't want to recognize them kind of spirits. No, what, what? no. Them the other kind of spirits. What are you talking about? You want spirits like patience, power, confidence, and faith, long suffering, cheerfulness. Cheerfulness is good. That's like joy. Yeah, cheerful. Try them. You don't want to talk to those. No, no. What you going to talk to speaker? What you going to ask him? Well, no, it's it's like a lot of times we didn't recognize these spirits in people, um, and that that is part of that's part of uh, identifying um, where where we are. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I don't, know, but boy, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I disagree with that. I don't know if I disagree with that. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think we should be going that away with these people. Movies and they imaginations of this stuff. I mean, but um, no, I don't know about that. But I think we need to go over there and take out uh, the Shepherd of Hermes. We want to talk about finding some spirits. I think we need to dig in that movie. Watch that one a few times before we check. <laughs> that one was kind of scary now. Yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> well, me to men, I mean. unfortunately, most people uh, need need to recognize these spirits, like the, you know, in us, arrogance and lying and deception. Well, well hold on, because, okay, okay, because, okay. Well, let's lean into it. Did so the, you see any of these? Did you see a Spiegel character or feel a Spiegel? Do you have a relationship? With, with that type of a character? Were there demonic, any kind of things jumping out of windows? Did you see anything like that at all? No. Okay. Just to be checking. <laughs> but I, but um, I took it as, as a training. You took what as a training? Well, when you were going through those, those oh, characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. But see, hers is chemical and induced, and they, I don't know. And plus, she did some extra stuff. You probably ain't that gonna. You don't worry about what she did. Stacy did what Stacy did was only thing she did was make me be able to interview like I'm doing. Now. <laughs> no, I had to ask these questions. All she did was kind of set me up. And I, you know, I was thinking, I was like, maybe if we'd have done them classes more, maybe we wouldn't have had to go through all of that. So we 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 got the cliff notes, but I I I know that you don't want any part of that. No, don't no ever no. You, you, yeah, you don't want no part of what she went through, except for the the recovery part, because it was during the recovery yeah. part that you know I started treating her like a like a queen. I mean, I really leaned into it, but I didn't recognize that there was a queen at all. But I leaned into the fact of taking care of my wife because you know I want to show what it looked like. You know, when when somebody's down and you. You, you, you really, you know, stay there at their bed and, you know, I, I, I mean, I went as far as to when she said she had to pee, I had people cleaning the bathroom almost. It was like, by the time my foot touched the floor, or they had a path, you know, of, of, you know, roses on the floor, you know, well, she would have slipped on what, what other fake stuff. But I'm like, I leaned into it. And so I was wondering, you know, if it changed her or she was already changed and she changed me. So I'm like, mm, what do you think? I are, think. Are you I think. Uh, are you are you changing your husband? I think. I think. I think we have a big part in it. I mean, is he like like it fell in love with you? Like I'm ready to change my life and and stop smoking and using the bathroom and all that other kind of stuff. <laughs> no, it's more like it's more like the, their spirit. I don't know how we affect them or whatever i think the same way if i walked into a room and i i had a really mean spirit i can affect the people in the room mm -hmm. so i think if i'm caught if these spirits that were on me in me are gone then my truer essence is able to be uh freer mm. or you know up more space and um touch the people that 
that I, you know, that I love or, you know, just to make them have a sense of peace in my environment opposed to traumatizing them. Mm -hmm. So So, you you don't work, you don't have a job, do you, like outside of the home? No. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Well, when we gonna talk again? Because I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some more questions. So, and I would like to get Stacy on the phone and see if she'll chat with you too, because you know she y'all done chatted a lot, right? Y'all buddies, right? <laughs> yeah, I like. I you know I've been following you guys, and I just you sound I way think, different you know, than the last time we talked. <laughs> well, see. Yeah, you you at peace. You sound peaceful. Yeah, because I was, you know, I was in it. I was really that. I was. <laughs> Yeah. And so you feel like the seven spirits were on you, and now they're left. Yeah. So uh, last, well, fuck, just tell us about that because if people like, I, 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 what would you call it, the Jezebel spirit, or would you say seven spirits, or, or would you say that? Um, look, because people get offended when I call it the Jezebel spirit, forgetting that it's I the same the as the Ahab Je- spirit. I think the Jezebel spirit, okay, because we got the narcissist, right? So narcissist. When we think of, huh? I'm a, you said narcissist. Yeah, the narcissist is okay. is the clinical word for. Well, let me read it. It. Let me read it. It says narcissist personality disorder is a mental health condition in which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. they need and seek too much attention and want people to admire them. People with this disorder may lack their ability to understand or care about the feelings of others. Oh, I didn't know that was a word. I, 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 wow, that's Karen, right? And yeah, that's how, and that's how, I, and that's how the that's the first thing I noticed that Stacy had changed. I mean, looking back on it, I it didn't stand out to me at all because she she really only had three days to to experience that, and 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 but the first thing she said was, "Would you pull the pull the um blanket up on my feet?" And it kind of shocked me, like, "Uh, what feet? You you got feet now?" Because <laughs> she she had lost all sense of herself. Like one example, she, she walked out into the rain and it was like, my wife would have never walked out into that rain and she came out there after me. And that's when I that's when I got on my knee. I was like, woo. It was like, came out of this rain after me. This must be somebody else. And, she, <laughs> and um, it was like, it was no sense of herself at all. She didn't care about herself at all. And then you feel like that now. Well, I still care for myself. I mean, you know, my physical body I mean, and stuff like eat, that. Yeah, you barely gonna tell you to do most yeah. of that work. But I mean, as far as um, but, hmm. but go ahead. But but yeah, yeah. Like I I see it like if the creator doesn't provide a banana for me, mm. I I I won't eat. Mm, no, wait, wait, no. Okay. How do you get groceries? <laughs> How do you eat then? You ain't got burgers frying. They gotta go to Walmart sometime. Gotta spit it out. So how? So you gotta change it a little bit. Come on. Make what I mean sense. by that is, yeah. What I mean by that is, is, is that I'm not concerned. Mm, right. Okay. Okay. If it ain't there, it ain't there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's a it's, it's a general whole sense of peace. Is this wow? That's I, yes, that's, that's the way Stacy look. Like she feels that's what she looks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's a it's a I I'm so I'm so grateful for it. That's all I can say. Cause I <laughs> cause worry. Worry is not the same as caring for somebody or 
compassion. Worry is something totally different. I still care for people and I have compassion for people, but I don't worry. You don't, not whether they live or like your family members, it's like the, the concern whether they pass or not is disappeared. Like, if, you know, if they're going to, like a family member that you used to care about, like my mama used to care about. And this was an example, like now I'm coming at peace that, you know, they're going away and it's like, okay, just so be it. I mean, you don't wish for it, but it's, it's, it's no concern anymore. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically for everybody, for myself even and yourself. everyone. I was going to say that, even for yourself. <laughs> even for yourself, right? It's like, it's like it doesn't yeah. matter. Nothing matters anymore. It's like it's like a father's will is it. It's it. Whatever you want is it, right? Now I'm just yeah. making up stuff. I'm just making up stuff now. <laughs> but it is stuff. at the end the day because I know that I can't really do anything at this point. Hmm. Hmm. That, you know, that, you know, first of all, I would be like, a, you know, it's just like me trying to go into another camp right now. Mm -hmm. You know, they see me. Like, it's obvious now that I, be, I'm, 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 I belong to a certain camp, so I can't really go into other camps. Oh. So, if I do go, it's because I'm, you know, the creator wants me to do something. That's how I see it. Yeah. Well, and all my wisdom, hmm? all my worldly wisdom hmm. has kind of been um, changed. Worldly as in secular wisdom? Yeah, how to maneuver and how to survive and all that. It's changed. It's changed. How changed? Like, what do you mean? Um, well, because of the because of the the festival, the 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 feast and the Sabbath. It's changed your whole concept of interacting in the in you know, in a job or with people, you know. Everything changes because you're not doing you're not you're not doing it for the same reasons, if that makes sense. You know, like you're not working for the same reason that you worked before hmm. especially if it's not um something that you you know you you feel that you feel good about that you feel good something that in alignment hmm. with what you call to do hmm. if you know that's about all to say you know hmm. Hmm. about hmm. Uh, everybody's got we all have to eat for sure you know so hmm. right, but I'm right, just right 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 do you I'm have, just saying do you that's have, you know well, do, well okay now reading the bible do you read now you say you're reading now or just 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 reading for funsies or have, it sounds like your reading has diminished I don't like you don't read as much be honest be honest I'm reading more of the Third Testament and the Book of Life because I moved over to that because I'm read I'm doing readings, you know, live readings. That I'm what are you send. doing with them? What are you going? Where are you, where are you putting them at? You're supposed to be sitting them to me or somewhere. Well, I, no, I I do them in the studio and then um, I'm going to send them to you. You ought to just upload them on your channel and then I can just take them and do with them what I want and get them down from your channel. You know you have a channel, right? You can upload it, and it, it's just hard if they are. If, if um, it may be hard. You can send them to me. That's fine, but you know you can put them on your channel too, and then you know keep isolation, and, and then I have to put them together with population. But you will have trouble with the fifteen minute limit. So just send them to me. You got. Don't wait because it may be difficult to find a way to send them to me. 
heavy files may you know might not fit through the email or whatever so don't wait to get too many if you got one let's see if see, 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 let's see it but <clears throat> okay well do you think that, um do you, and you and you think that your knowledge it, it, it could it have been knowledge of the scripture or just a change in the in the times sound like it's just a change in the times but you happen to be able to stay on track because of your knowledge of the scripture so that's what i think I it's both it's both because hmm. hmm. the more that i read the scripture the more that i understand do you think and all the other pieces right go ahead go ahead i'm sorry and and the other pieces come together would you would you think that, it, that a person should just start on the third testament i mean you would just say hey uh here's the way to be oh because you i ain't even read the old testament or the new testament yet would you say just forget about them and go to the third testament and use the other ones as a reference when you need it like you know the covenant or psalms 23 or something would you say the first? Well, it would be good. Hmm? The, the shepherd of her. You said it again. I said it would be it would be good if they read the shepherd of Hermit first. Well, yeah, now they got to do that even to get through the door. That's going to be key to the door, and and both ways because if they don't get it right, they'll be you know ejected out according to the shepherd of Hermit. But I mean, after that point, you get them in, they say, "Oh, I don't read the shepherd of Hermit. What do I do? Go read." the Old Testament and then the New Testament or do we just say, hey, we're going to chill out with the New Testament? I mean, the Third Testament to the post here. I'm saying, is that enough information in there or do they need to go back and start reading those Isaiah's and Ecclesiastes and books? Well, the Shepherd of Hermas talks about the issues, you know, like he breaks down mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the characters, the well, characters, and so it's like this it's like in the middle of the Old Testament and New Testament, then you have the Shepherd of Hermits, and then you have the Third Testament. Well, I understand so, that. Okay, so so the what so were you saying to me that the Third Testament, as far as you're concerned, has no other significant importance other than the fact you're just using it for readings that you're doing? No, no, not at all. It's just that um Compared the, to the other, the, compared to the Old Testament and the New Testament, for okay, most of the people, I mean, most of the people have, know the the Old Testament right. and the New Testament to a certain level, right? What mm -hmm. they don't know is Shepherd Hermes. because it was taken out, right? And it's so right. important, and right? They, for this day, it was taken out, so when they, yeah, so they, so people will miss this thing and they mess it up. That's a shame. That's a shame. Ooh, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. Ooh. And and the spirit, Jezebel spirit, mm. and then they can they can they can they can understand the third testament. But the third testament is kind of like a washing, mm. you know, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the third testament is kind of like, okay, I got it now, you know. Yeah, yeah. Have you read the Have you read the, all of the Old Testament and the New Testament? Yeah. You read the whole Bible. Yeah. Uh, okay. I said that's significant because I guess that I guess that is what will prevent you from actually making an error that could cost you and slide you backwards, huh? And then, and then you add it to you know just lose sense of consciousness. That you can survive even without it, almost, but you still have a ref for a reference. So there's no way you would really mess anything up, huh? unless you just actually all almost wanted to, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. At this point. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> you ready for the world, then, ain't you? <laughs> when you go, when you go start flying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, this is what it says. This is what the Bible says it's gonna be like. That's why I know what to ask you. The Bible say it say this is this. It just yeah, this is what it say. Man, if you don't bring my coffee here, I hear you sturdy. I can stir myself. Bring your coffee here. I got well, some, you I, know, I ain't gonna I, keep I, you up. I ain't gonna keep you up, but of course I got some both sturdy. I, um, I would like to have the right to call you back anytime I feel like, it, even three o'clock in the morning. 
Hey, if I can, if I can be of any help with, the, you know, anything, you know, what I can do, what I can offer, you know, help or whatever I can help or learn, whatever, I'm good. <laughs> oh no, um, I would, um, I would like to go back. I was just trying to think about back in the old days when we were doing Blog Talk Radio. Yeah. <laughs> and just get, yeah, just get you and Stacy on there and let you guys chat about it. You know, I don't want a whole bunch of people in there, but just let you guys share the experience because, you know, you can do it from where you're at. I mean, and, and plus. That sounds with, great. Yeah. I mean, I can call her now. You want me to call I, her now? I, hey, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm awake. You're awake? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I was just going to make a coffee from myself. I, I got a coffee problem, though. <laughs> you got a what problem? A coffee problem. I have, I, yeah, I got a coffee problem. So, I'm up. You up drinking coffee problem. Hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I don't want to bother just... while she's sleep. Hey, uh, who waking up? Come here. They don't know the answer. All right, what's she? Well, you yeah. know, the lo- Hold on. I, I'm the last. To... Uh... Go ahead, go ahead, Rowan. I, I would. Know. Hello? Hold on. Yeah, go Is ahead. I'm safe? trying to, I'm trying to. Go ahead. We can hear you. We can hear you. Go ahead. Hi, Stacey. <laughs> wait, wait. She can't hear you. Stacey can't hear you. I'm still working on that number. Um, It may be a minute. I'm trying to get this, get my son here to tell me. When was it, Steve? Was it leaving? So would they be in town or they might be still on the road? No, she said. She didn't say what time she was going to get there? Let's see. Um, do you know my phone is it? I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to get Stacy on the phone. She she's gallivanting around town with her sister and stuff. Well, you know, when you, we when you were doing that block talk, I would really love. I I really wanted to, to communicate with Stacy with her herbs and stuff like that because that that's a big that's really big you know making you know dealing with the herbs and plants and making all kinds you know making things mm-hmm. and yes yeah, she, her, her chat- yeah, she was doing good the, um just the sabbatical year kind of was a super set back because she we hadn't planned on what how she was going to pick her stuff and then when she when she read that it you know has a, a shelf life she um she she really didn't feel comfortable selling it, so it was a ba- a really big hit for her in that tea company. But I mean, I mean, even the next well, year, yeah. Jubilee year, so it, it, it'll be another yet yeah, another setback. Well, yeah, because I mean, in that area, we're suffering. What in teas and stuff? No, in, in preserving food. Oh yeah. Growing food, preserving food, and like like this year, it was hard. Hard. I mean, it was a sabbatical year, and it was obvious. But uh, we're behind on that one because so. we were supposed to store food last year, right? Is that you, right? You, you did. <laughs> yeah. Well. You can still get it. The Not thing about enough. it, um, you say store food. Where are you getting this food from? You ain't growing it, are you? No. Well, well, when it talks about the sabbatical year or the sixth day, even like, uh, which one is it? Is it was it tabernacle or eleven bread too? Where the the sixth day where it was so? Oh, was that the story in the wilderness? We're supposed to have enough for the next day. Yeah, that give us was enough. Moses in the desert. Um, yeah, where they had to store up the manna. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Well, here's the thing about that th- though. You you never really told. Well, you never really told to store, he, and he and he puts it in such a way that it, it, I, now I understand why it's written like that. Is that if you say, "How are we going to eat?" Then he would provide it. But it never really tells you to store otherwise. And the thing about it. Yeah, you, you really not unless you tune in my, into my channel. You, you're not even supposed to know when the a year is. You're supposed to kind of catch you off guard, only because of how man has changed the calendar and stuff. Yeah, 
No, I take that back. There's, I take that back. There's a lot of people that do. I take. I don't know why I said that. But yeah, no, nah, that was error. That was complete error. And now I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> so you say something else. Oh, Stacy, I tried what? to call Stacy and she didn't answer yet. We are expecting a call from her that she was on the road traveling with her sister. Like I said, gallivanting around town. But and, um. I did call and I got no answer and it was confirmed that she said she was going to call us when she got there, which means she hasn't arrived right yet. But, and I, and I would like to just have you, like, I, I'm a little bit tired and I know you are too. And so I'd rather just, you know, try to set up another day where we can, you know, a good, you know, day. So what time would be good for you to, for her to call you back or us to call you back? Uh, anytime after 11. What happens at 11? Any, what time you wake up? What time? Do you, 11 a.m., 11 p.m.? You, you, you wake up at 11? 11. No, anytime after 11 a.m. You don't work, right, do yeah, you? Yeah, because... No, but so when just, I wake up... Just chilling out. I, do, I have my quiet time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering, how, how, how would you live a life of just tranquility? It's like, you know, it's like, you know, just... <laughs> like, wake up on a cloud and just... Pray over all of your subjects and <laughs> knit us a mittens and stuff. Well, I think some people are chosen, are called for that. The mitten then, yeah. yeah. And spread the love. Yeah, they call it um, called agents of joy, um, angels, spirits of joy, something like that. Joy, people just do nothing but bring joy to others, yeah. You know, praising and worshiping, I, I'm good with that. I can do that. I want to see these readings you got, and I'm going to let you go because I know, I, well, you said you was up, but I hope you weren't flat away on Stacey because I'm not up. <laughs> it's well past my bedtime. Um, well, the, the creator has positioned me in a way that I can do a lot of reading. Oh, do those readings now. I would like to check them out. I would hate for you to get so far. Have you Have you completed any? I've completed four. Well, you I did them in the studio. Before you get too I did far them in along, the studio. find out something wrong with them. You hate to get so far along and find out that they're not going to work. So at least try to get me one just, to, just so I can see where you're at, where you're at at it. Okay. All right. I'll do that. Yep. Well, I thank you for your time, and I'm calling you back. <laughs> yeah, it might be 3 o'clock this morning if I have a question. Yeah, you, you already told me you got a coffee problem, so I'll, I'm going to call you. But I, I'll try to call you if after you 11. <laughs> Mm-hmm. If you question, I don't have any problem because it helps me. Helps well, me why, understand. Well, that's why I put that in there first before you got to give me your, what your time. I'll ask you because I call you 3.30. I, I got to know, right? <laughs> but, I, okay, I'm going to quit wasting your time. Thank you, Miss Roro. Thank you for blessing us with your time and your wit and everything you have shared with us. And pre, please pray Thank for us. You. Please, please pray for my mouth. <laughs> Straighten up my mouth. Thank you, man. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Love, you. Love you. Bye. Hmm. Interesting. Number two. <laughs> 